I like how I have a fan on high when I'm literally sneezing. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm not currently wearing any makeup. I put on a little bit of lip thing. It was the VT one. But I'm not wearing makeup because today we are reviewing something. Now, I've never tried this K-Beauty brand before. It is a K-Beauty brand. But 0 0.8 liter sent me this, so I was like, okay, why not try it? I also have a review up, hopefully, fingers crossed, by now on Instagram. If you guys are more for written reviews of products, go check it out over there. But today we are reviewing the Medicube Deep Erasing Cream. I'm not gonna open the box because I actually have already opened a box and it's right here. I've tried it already. We've been trying it for the, like the past like week or so-ish and today we're finally gonna review it because I need to post that review tonight. But yeah, 0 0.8 liter is basically an app where you can get like free stuff to review. Basically that's how it works. So they sent me this for free to review, not sponsored, but they did send it to me. The initial price of this is 43 US dollars. It is a pretty big tube and the packaging is really like you guys can see it's really good packaging so i see where the price point's coming from and as far as i know medicube is a more expensive brand in korea and this is an anti-aging product i am still pretty young i like turn i turn 21 next week but i have been using like anti-aging products for a while just because i want to like prevent it in the future but this also does help with blemishes and pores and like dry skin so that's why i've been kind of liking it recently i will get more into it it does say for all skin types and it pretty much is, but I'll get more into it. So I have a little description right on my phone. So some of the product details that um, uh, features patented and award-winning link and lift ingredient that stim stimulates, stimulates, stimulates is the word, collagen and elastin synthesis formulated with 11 patented ingredient clinically proven to reduce wrinkles. So that's the anti-aging, blemishes, dark spots and pores. So it's kind of a little bit of everything. It contains naturally derived elastin 89.9, similar to human elastin to plump up skin, which is always really nice because then your skin looks all like pretty. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into reviewing this bad boy so I can put on my moisturizer and I can put on makeup. So anyways, the directions which are on the box in English, as far as I know, it doesn't look like they're on the package, but it is on the box. I don't think this is vegan, by the way, because it does say it is made with words I cannot pronounce that also mean horse chestnut. I don't know what that is, but I don't think it's vegan. So that is something to put into consideration. The directions on this say to apply a suitable amount evenly on skin and gently pat to be absorbed. And then there's like the ever average caution stuff, avoid direct sunlight after use. And also keep it away from direct sunlight. However, if you put on your sunscreen, I've never really had any problems with products like this before. And then the inside is also really nice. I will insert a clip from when I first tried it right here because that's kind of when I looked more into the packaging and everything but it is like a really nice packaging and the first time i tried it i will say i didn't really notice too much like it does kind of just seem like a regular average expensive cream like it's nice but i feel like this is one of those products where the longer you use it the better it is and because i've only had it for like a week or two and i've only really been trying it for like a week and a half ish feel like i haven't really seen a ton of results yet also the weather is changing so there's a little bit of that weirdness in there too so i don't entirely know if i'd like 200 percent repurchase it also because the price point does seem a bit steep to me whereas like the glow recipe moisturizer i think is around a similar price point maybe a little bit more expensive but it's really really nice and then i also can think of like etude house moisturizers that also are kind of really in the same vein like they might not work as well and you might need to put on a couple more layers like with this i feel like i only need to put on one maybe two layers of it at least for like me currently i don't think it is like something i'd repurchase that's really nice and i'm gonna use it until it's completely gone but it's not like uh this is a necessity repurchase for me like i feel like i'm going to be incorporating this into my skincare routine more so as something to use every now and then because i do like to use anti-aging products every now and then but i don't think it's like a 200 percent every day i need this type of thing you know so i'm just going to scoop off what is on the top here and i do like that they put a little spatula in here because it is a very thick cream and i usually don't like to get that like on my hands and stuff like i just did and i'm just kind of like yeah so i'm just going to be quite generous it's super cool too like this is a very 
cold cream, I would say. And my skin was kind of going through it, kind of dry before I put this on. So we're going to see how well it undoes that. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like a consistency of like cake frosting too. All right. And now we get it on my hands. I think I put a little bit too much on. But you know what? It's okay. We're going to pat it entirely into the skin and now I don't have to put on the second layer and I'll just be set for the day. I'm just gonna be glowing all day, basically. Yeah, I definitely put too much on right now. But now I'm gonna pat it in like it says to absorb. You guys can probably see from how my skin looks just now. It's a good cream, but I feel like it's not something I would necessarily feel like I need to repurchase, you know? It doesn't have too much of a smell either but it is kind of like a skincare smell. Like that's the smell it has, which isn't too bad, but it does have that like skincare -y smell. Like I feel like a nice alternative to this because this isn't vegan either. And I usually do like to keep my makeup and skincare products vegan, even though I am not entirely vegan myself just because I, it's like the little things. I saw something online that said if 100 people did like 10% as opposed to 10 people doing 100% it's like more of an impact so I like to do like as much as I can. So I don't think I'd repurchase it for that reason either but it is nice. I will use it until it's gone but I feel like a nice alternative that I believe I'm pretty sure it's vegan. I'm pretty sure all of Wish Trends products are vegan. I know they have some really nice creams, like they're like Midnight Blue line. They have a nice cream in there that kind of reminds me of maybe having a similar te texture and consistency. And I'm pretty sure it's vegan too. So if not, I know that they have a lot of other vegan products. So yeah, I don't think I would 200% repurchase this, but it is really, really nice and I am gonna use it up. Like it's a nice gift. And possibly I think it might be nicer in like maybe a 200% necessity city product for somebody who is a little bit older and has older skin but i don't particularly so it's not really a thing i need it is really nice though and i'd be really interested in trying other products from metacube too but yeah i'm going to finish my makeup and then i'll be back at the end of this video so you guys can see how makeup applies on top of this and all that good stuff so yeah i'll be right back i can't snap because it's all over my hands now so i'm back with my makeup on and I have one thing to say. This is the first time I've used this cream, um, like in the daytime. Usually I just use it at night, like as almost like a sleeping mask. I would not use this during the day, probably ever again. And it could have been because I put on too much, I don't know. But if you like get up really close to my makeup, especially up here, it's so cakey. I don't know if you guys can see particularly because I think I did a really good job like covering it up like my makeup actually looks pretty decent today i'm kind of proud of myself for it but i wouldn't recommend this for a daytime cream unless you have really dry skin then maybe i would but i don't i don't think this is a daytime cream at all so i probably wouldn't repurchase it because usually i don't like to purchase things that i can only use in the day or only use at night because i just don't see the um like getting where i like would get my money's worth out of it unless it's like a sleeping mask so yeah i don't think i'd repurchase this but it is really good i am going to entirely use it up and i'm really wanting to try other products from this brand because this is very high quality and i'm also really appreciative towards zero point eight liter for sending it over to me not my favorite product ever but some that happens some things are hit and miss for different people and it's not my, it's not a hit for me. It's a miss for me. I would assume that other products from them are really, really good though, because this is really high quality. It's just not my favorite. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have a written review, really quick little written review up on Instagram for this by now, so go check that out as well. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below, as well as subscribe for more, and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos, and make sure to click the all are on, because if you only turn on some, then you won't be notified for everything because also I do upload or at least try to upload videos every single day and I am going to be starting live streaming every single day as well. So make sure to check that out. I should have some really fun news in regard to that soon. Like as an extra thing. So stay tuned. I hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all in my next video and the live stream tonight. Bye guys!